Hey, it's uh, James. First off, I just want to say thank you for purchasing our products. Um, what I'm demonstrating today is how to install the Shock Thunder Visor into the Rip It Infielder's Mask. Um, the visor will fit both adult and youth, we found. And I believe this little tutorial will really help you out and demonstrate how easy it is to install. Now we're going to install the Shock Thunder Visor into the Rip It infielders softball mask it will fit both youth and adult okay your uh viper clips that come in the package will come in black they may come assembled but in case they don't i'll show you how to put them together quickly now we offer these in a large variety of colors you can order separately so this is a pink inner clip on a black outer so what i do is start with getting the lip of the inner clip tucked in and under that silicone like this. Then I hold that piece with my thumb, grab this piece with the other hand and pull it and push down at the same time and it snaps in nice and simple. Then repeat. Start with the inner clip going into the silicone like this. Then pull this piece and push in boom nice and easy all right now that you got the clips done the next step is to put them on the rivet mask they go on first just simply over the wire and through the hole and they just dangle there this just kind of keeps them ready to go then the other side through the hole and there nice and easy they want to have them down in this configuration like this okay next Remove the visor from its soft carry bag. I like to take the rip it mask and bring the headband headgear over the mask like this. So you can open up the back as the visor goes through the back of the mask here into this area. All right. So just slightly line it up and work its way in there under the foam. Get that under this foam and just kind of work it in. All right like this into this position where the holes of the visor these two holes you see these holes they're now sitting under the bar here all right now go ahead and bring back the silic the um the elastic strap head strap back and over now simply line up the clip to the hole all right, you can push this piece of the visor that kind of gets it out of the way. Get that little thumb screw over the hole of the visor. And then we just take the thumb nut through the back of the visor and just kind of work it to get it to click on there and get a couple of the turns on the on the thumb screw like this. And don't tighten it up yet. Just get it like this. All right. Then repeat on the other side. Clip over the hole. You, there's a little registration mark on the visor that should help you out in finding that spot. I like to push here on the clip to find that mark. And then just get it. You should, I kind of get a snap whenever I get it in the right spot. All right. Oops. Kind of hear a snap when I get it in the right spot. All right. A couple of turns. All right. Next, it should have the visor now on about an angle, about maybe 20, 30 degrees up. All right. What I do then is push right here forward and tighten down the back. As tight as it'll, I can get it. All right, that's going to hold that one in place. All right, then the other side. Again, repeat, just kind of push it forward. You don't have to get it much forward. It's already in the right position now, pretty much. We're just getting it to hold firmly. Then, oh, I've already done that. I've already got the whole thing on. All right, tighten it in place. All right. Now, there's a little bit of a gap here. You can work that through. You just push, I just push right about here and push it up. All right, there you go. So now, just make sure we got it nice and tight. 
You see how I did that? I just pushed it right about here and under. And that takes care of it. It's all nicely. All right, so soft carry bag is also the white cloth to get your big thumb prints off of it. And now your rip it mask is installed with the shock visor. Hope that helps. 